Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie. I think this recipe is a little weird, but I'm gonna try it anyways. It is from our Slow Cooker Volume 2 um, recipes. It is week nine, and so I'm gonna try it out. I'll let you know how it goes tonight. We'll see. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start with some uh, pre-baked waffles, the ones that you get in the freezer section. And you're just gonna put these, we're gonna crumble these down in the bottom. You also need two pounds of sausage, you want a spicy pork breakfast sausage. I did half and half. I did one spicy and one regular because my husband doesn't love super spicy pork. Now, sausage. My family loves all of the ingredients in this. So I feel like this should be a winner, but to me it is a really odd conglomeration of things. So I would love to know from y'all, is this something you would make, would make? It's sausage and waffle bake. You're gonna need two pounds of spicy pork breakfast sausage. 12 ounce package of frozen waffles cut into bite-sized peaches pieces, which is what I'm doing now. You're gonna need eight large eggs, one and a quarter cups of half and half, fat-free is fine, I'm using fat-free this morning. A quarter cup of maple syrup, plus a little more extra for serving, a tablespoon of sage, half teaspoon salt, half teaspoon pepper, and a quarter teaspoon pepper, and then two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Now, I greased this thing a ton, so I definitely greased my pan a bunch and I'm using one of my casserole cookers. I'm hoping the video is working. Okay. I greased my casserole cooker a ton. You definitely want to do that. You can actually put it on foil, which might be even easier um, to clean it up. I just am going to trust that I can get it cleaned up. Now I'm going to take my sausage and I'm going to put it over the bacon or over the waffle. Has anybody made this? I would love to know. This is one of our recipes and I try, I don't test every single recipe. I do eat quite a few of them, but this is one that I can't believe I've never made. And this weekend I was looking at it and I was like, I don't know, this is so different. But my family loves breakfast, they love waffles, they love syrup and they love eggs. So I was like, okay, this should be a winner. I don't know, I'm trying to keep my grease out here. Hang on y'all, sorry. I should have probably drained it a little bit better. Um, you guys, is this something you would eat? Also, if you will hit the share this button, we will enter you to win a $25 Amazon gift card. Hang on, just, okay, so we've got our sausage. That's a lot of sausage. I'm hoping it's gonna be a very full crock pot. I don't wanna get all that grease in there. I should have gotten my grease out. Thankfully, it's not super greasy. Okay, there is our two pounds of sausage. And like I said, I did one spicy, one not spicy. Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna mix together eight eggs. Would y'all eat this? Okay, I'm looking to see your, thank you, Kathy, for sharing. Okay, Vail, it is chilly this morning everywhere, isn't it? It's crazy how cold it is. Okay, y'all, would you eat this? Has anybody made this now that I can see your comments? We've got eight eggs. We're adding our one and a quarter cups of half and half, a quarter cup of maple syrup, and I feel like my camera is super dirty this morning. I don't know, does it seem like it's coming across real dirty to y'all? Um, I thought I cleaned it. I usually try to clean it before I go live, but I'm going to clean it one time just to make sure you're seeing really good. This is in the slow cooker. Oops, sorry, y'all. This is in slow cooker volume two box. Okay. You, if you weren't diabetic, you'd make it. This would not be great for sure. Definitely. We're coming out with our whole foods box in January. I think it's going to launch January 21st. That is a much better recipe if you want to eat healthier food than this one, but I do think people are going to love this. Okay, so remember we've got eight eggs, one and a quarter cups of half and half. You can use fat free, quarter cup of maple syrup. We're going to do a half teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and a tablespoon of sage. I feel like that's a lot of sage for my family, um, but I'm going to go for it because I bet I'm going to do about three quarters of a tablespoon. That just seems like a lot of sage to me. Okay, here we go, guys. Where did you get that casserole cooker? I have had it for a few years. I don't know if they're still selling the exact same model, but they do have them still. I don't use it all that often, but when I do, it's perfect for things like this because I feel like this should be in the casserole shape. So you end up getting a slow cooker food in a casserole shape. So we're just gonna drizzle this over here. I'm gonna mix this in a little more. You wanna make sure your sage and everything else is mixed well and that your eggs are really well beaten. Okay, so drizzle this slowly over the top and you can do this in a traditional crock pot. The recipe suggests that you line it with foil ahead and then spray and I'm assuming that is so that, I'm assuming there's a good chance this is gonna stick. So I used some vegetable oil and I greased it really, really well because I do not like 
stuff sticking. You can see the syrup on there. I am betting my family is gonna dig into this tonight and be so excited. I just, it was so different. Last thing we're gonna do, y'all, this feeds, this feeds a ton of people, um, is we're gonna add two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. This is a lot of food in here. This will be, I'm excited because we'll have it for leftovers probably to tomorrow night, which is always my favorite. I've, I'll cook probably tonight and then tomorrow I'm making the general sauce chicken. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all a secret. Shri is gonna be on Facebook Live right after me this morning. She has been doing her, she's been drying oranges and she told y'all she would show you how to do it. So watch her right after me coming. I don't know how long till she comes. Okay, all we're gonna do now is we're gonna set the slow cooker on low for five to six hours. We'll see how it goes, guys. I don't know, it's so different. It's totally different than anything else that I've ever tried. I will post an update tonight and give you guys the information. I've got a picture of somebody, I think I have a picture of it made that someone else took. So if you are interested in our menu planning email easy boxes, I would encourage you, if you're new here and have never tried out any of our boxes, try it out. This is the Slow Cooker Volume 2. We have lots of these in stock right now. Also get the five ingredient menus, and in January, we will be cooking from the low-cal menu. So hopefully that helps. The Crock-Pot casserole, guys, was from Amazon. I don't know if they still make this brand, but I will let you know how it goes later today. Y'all have an amazing day, and we will talk soon. Bye, guys.